What's going on, Red Force? So, there's a video I wanted to film just out of the sake of filming it because what what is in front of my face is an absolutely absurd amount of rare VHS tapes. And since some of them were not, are not going to be in my hands for another day, I want to go ahead and document this just because it'll probably never get as crazy as it is right now. So let's turn this camera on and show you what we're looking at. So what you're looking at here is my friend's VHS collection. Yeah, most everything sealed. Has almost everything except the second set of GT and the second set of movies. And uh Tian Chin Hunt edited. Now he does have the he does have the promo and the screener VHS tape, which you're about to see now. So what's above this row, you may ask? Well, above that row is well my edited copies. Well, technically this row is actually my edited, but since mine are in custom boxes, you know, it holds. But his copies of the edited are up here. Not except for TN, that TN's mine. He is missing TN though. That is his only tape missing. But just the, abs the the absurdity of what's in front of your eyes is insane. To see all these tapes. And above above this layer, you may be asking, well, that is two promos, two samples, and two screeners from both of our collections. One of the most insane things you can see ever. I mean, the Baba Saga, both of them, probably the craziest thing. If, man, if only he had... T the only thing that gets better than this is when he gets TN. We'll have two complete sets, which is insane. But th he is now the third person to have a fully edited Baba Saga complete. Uh, the other guy that's been confirmed, he was on the forum like 12 years ago. He actually has it now. It's in storage, but in recent years, he is the second person to ever complete the Baba Saga. But as a fully documented thing he is the third that has came out owning all five of them so i was the second he was the third now i was the first to own all of the edited tapes or all the tapes in general uh mainly the edited because the person who has all five of these the first person he didn't know tn existed um now that it does i was the first to have all the dragon ball edited tapes which is insane but we also have the two promos and the two samples, which is insane. But yeah, he's only missing that TN edited. Now, another reason why I wanted to film this video is because I have two spare Baba tapes. Now, the story behind this goes, um, so when I first found my five warriors, which is exactly this tape here, I found it. It came without the tape, right? And I lived without that tape for two years. And then I finally found my Baba with the tape inside, right? So then I gave my friend that my friend's collection that I'm filming now. I gave him the one with just the, the tape. I mean, just the sleeve. Uh, well, recently, about a month ago, I just obtained his full copy of Five Warriors, and now I have a spare Five Warriors without the tape. Uh, and about three months ago, I bought this on eBay for for twenty six bucks. Um, so I have the two rarest tapes of the Baba Sagas. Uh, here with me with along with two full sets of Baba. It's insane. Uh probably won't see this many Baba tapes in one picture ever again. Uh -huh. and that's why I wanted to film this video because these two tapes are actually leaving me um tomorrow and I wanted to film this video while I had the chance to have all these Babas in one sitting. So these Babas are being sold. I ended up making a trade for for the second screener tape along with some cash. So that is why you see two copies of the screener here. Because originally we just had, I had, we both had these and I had my screener. Now we have both. And so I am getting rid of these two guys uh, in a trade with some cash. Because obviously these two just do not equivalent to one screener. So we had to work out some sort of deal here. So this tape is complete. This is just the sleeve. It has a fake. I printed a fake label on here. It's not legit at all. As you can see, it just doesn't have the Five Warriors edited. I think at the bottom, like all tapes do, I don't want to get mine out. But as you can see, it says Goku's Journey edited here. I did print a fake label. 
and it you know doesn't have anything on this tape uh, so it's not legit uh, but it's a tape and a half um trading in for the screener with some cash i think it's a pretty solid trade um and my buddy is super happy to pretty much complete his collection minus t and edited but like i said mainly just wanted to film this video because this is insane that we you know have two full two full baba sets uh two promos two screeners and then extra babas just on top of that but i will back up we're gonna show this awesomeness So let me put let me put mine up. I'll show you one more chance of all this stuff together. Let me put mine back up though. Here's all of his tapes. I'm literally just missing that TN Shin Hunt edited. And you know you can complain about it, but it does not have a second set of GT or a second set of the movies here. You can't complain about it, but really, <laughs> just having all all the mainline, all the box sets uncut and edited for Z. And Dragon Ball, it's insane. You know, GT, yes, there are some tapes in there that stick out, but not much. He has both sets of Ruination. That's the main thing. And then, you know, the, the movie box sets. One of each movie, one of each GT uncut or edited. Uh, and now mine, you know, let me get this light out of here. So, and yeah, and I have the blue tapes as well. There's a few things in there that he didn't collect that he just didn't want to. Um, but there we go. And then, I, of course, my customs. You know, I finished the artwork that was unreleased here, you know. Of course. And I have both copies. Well, he has both copies. He has two copies of Saiyan and Namek, but my, mine are both sealed. Um, And I finished the Cell Games edited, of course. You guys know that. Yeah, but, yeah, both copies of GT, both copies of all the movies, all that good stuff, and the custom, the last three. VHS tapes custom in the clam and the cardboard sleeve as well. And I got all the like alternate artwork stuff. He doesn't have that either, but he never cared to fully get all that. And of course, you know, I got my promos here, the promo and the screener. And then his promo and the screener. And then of course, shout out to the two extra bobbles I got left. Say bye to them. They are going. It is sad, but it's all worth it. The only thing we need is Tian Chin Han edited in. We can put this VHS story to a wrap and a final closing. But just wanted to inform you guys about that because that is just an insane, absurd amount of rare VHS tapes in one area. And yes, I could make a whole nother video about all of our duplicates of the rare VHS box sets like the Fusion, the Majin, the Bobbity, Uncut. All Most of these are sealed as well, just like my copies. Could I could just go into all that too, but to me, what makes them rare... The rare ones are worth noting are just the, you know, the final seven edited tapes and the promo and the screener. You know, that's really what the talk's all about nowadays. You know, box sets are nice, but at a certain level, they just, they don't stand out as well as the last seven edited or the promos there. But anyways, you guys have a good one. Take care. Peace.